Hello little bookworms, my name is Jojo and me and my cuddly friends would like to welcome you to the Littlest Book Corner for a story time episode and today is a really fun story time all about a lava monster. Well, this lava monster is actually called a Wiggly Boo and the book is called The Wiggly Boo and the Hot Lava and it's by Bryson and Lane Room and illustrated by Natasa Kostovska. Okay, are you sitting comfortably and do you have a cuddly friend with you ready to listen to today's story? Okay, great. Let's get started. This is a wiggly boo. This is hot lava. This is the wiggly boo standing on a rock surrounded by hot lava. Now the wiggly boo seems to be fishing in the lava pools. Well, look at that. He caught a fish from the lava pool and it's already cooked. Yum. Now the wiggly boo is bored. He decides to build a rock boat and float down the lava river. Here is the wiggly boo floating down the lava river. He floats past a two-headed dragon, a blob telling jokes to other blobs, his little baby sister eating dirt, and a dentist. Yes, a dentist. Here is the wiggly boo getting his teeth worked on by the dentist while surrounded by lava. Wow. Look at those pearly yellows now. The Wiggly Boo is starting to wonder how he ended up down here with all of this lava in the first place. The Wiggly Boo thinks about this while having a glass of lava tea. Ouch! He burned his tongue on the lava tea. The Wiggly Boo decides he should leave this place because it is hot and steamy and filled with lava. Why in the world does he live here? He calls a taxi. Apparently, taxis don't pick up lava monsters in lava caves. It's a union thing. So, the Wiggly Boo starts walking. He starts to sing a song. I've got one eye, I love monster pie. I'm scary, hairy, and I love strawberries. I've got one eye and eat lots of flies. Hum diddy dum diddy dum. It's safe to say the Wiggly Boo is not very good at making up songs. The Wiggly Boo walks and walks and walks until he comes to a lava waterfall. A lava fall if you will. The downside is it's a wall of hot lava. The upside is there just so happens to be a helicopter helmet at the base of the waterfall. He straps it on his head, turns it on and up, up, up he goes. He goes past a mountain goat, a lava dragon and a barber. A barber? Yes, a barber. Here is the Wiggly Boo getting a quick haircut in the lava cave. Man, does he look good or what? Finally, he makes it to the mouth of this huge cave. The Wiggly Boo looks out of the cave and sees green fields, towering trees, colourful flowers, bright sunshine, blue skies and birds singing songs. Ooh, says the Wiggly Boo. Who would want to go out there? Ooey, oo, 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 fooey. So he turns back into the cave, puts his helicopter helmet back on and flies right back down to where he came from, his lava home. The moral of the story is simple. If you ever need a haircut and some dental work, head to the nearest lava cave with a wiggly boo. Oh. And don't forget your helicopter helmet. The end. I wish I had a helicopter helmet, don't you? Well, that's it for today's story time. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to join me next time for another story time episode here at the Littlest Book Corner. But in the meantime, 
keep on reading. Goodbye. If your little one loved this book, you can get your very own copy by clicking on the link below. Don't forget to connect with us on social media for story time, giveaways and more. Thanks for watching. Thank you.